Okay, so in today's math lesson, it's all about exponents and exponential form. Exponential form or exponents is really just repeated multiplication. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look at the first example here. We have what is called 3 to the second power. Now, that 2 is the exponent, and it's written in what we call superscript. And superscript is when you take a letter or a number, and you make it really small, and you throw it up top. And so we read this as 3 to the second power. Now, like I said, this is repeated multiplication. So in expanded form, this is what it would look like. We're going to take the 3, and we're going to multiply it by itself two separate times. So here it is, 3 times 3. Here's the first 3. Here is the second 3. Now, if we were to evaluate that, we would simply multiply. 3 times 3 gives me 9. And there it is. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the next example here. The next example, I have a whole series of 2 being multiplied by itself. So, my root number, I guess, here is my 2. And I have to find out uh, how many times it's going to be multiplied by itself. So, I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of these guys. So, that's going to be my exponent. My exponent is 6. Because remember, that 6 lets me know how many times I'm going to multiply 2 by itself in the form of repeated multiplication. The only thing I have to do now is evaluate. So I have to, I'm going to evaluate one, at, evaluate one at a time. So 2 times 2 is going to give me 4. And I'm done with these guys. I'm going to bring down the rest. I have 4 left. That's 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And now I can multiply the next 2. 4 times 2 gives me 8. Okay, I'm done with these guys. I have 3 left. There they are. Now I can multiply these guys. 8 times 2 gives me 16. I'm done with those guys. 2 left. This gives me 32. Times 2. That gives me 64. Okay? That's kind of how it works. Now, that's with whole numbers. Whole numbers are nice. They work out pretty well. But sometimes you get fractions. Like this guy right here. I'm going to take 3 quarters and multiply it by 3 quarters. What does that look like? Well, now I'm going to use parentheses to make sure that 3 quarters stays good and intact. And I'm going to bring that to the second power or add a sub superscript 2 because I notice I have 3, oh, excuse me, 2 3 quarters. And how do I multiply? Well, I multiply the same way I would normally multiply fractions. I have a 3 times 3 gives me 9. And I have a 4 times 4 gives me 16. Okay. And now we have a set of decimals. And the decimals work the same way. But I am going to use those parentheses just to make sure that decimal looks like a decimal and it stays as 1.5. I notice I have two of these guys. So I'm going to use the superscript or the exponent 2. And 1.5 times 1.5, watch your decimal. The 15 times 15 gives me 225. And the tenths times the tenths gives me hundredths. So I know that my decimal goes there. Okay? Taking a look at the next guy, I have 5 cubed. Well, cubed is a special way of saying to the third power. Okay? So here's my 5. Here's my cubed to the third power, my superscript of 3. Now, in expanded form, I'm going to have that 5 times 5 times 5. Now, for the evaluation, 5 times 5 gives me 25. Multiply that by 25, and I get 125. Okay? Well, that's exponents in a nutshell, folks, okay? Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.